Hello, my name is Dr. Joseph McHale, and I am the Chief Medical Officer of the International Myeloma Foundation. And it's my privilege today to try and make multiple myeloma simple. Let's start with the basics of blood, because multiple myeloma is a cancer of the blood. Well, what do we mean by that? Well, our blood is composed of three particular cells that circulate around. Those are red cells, white cells, and platelets. Think of the red cells like just little red trucks. They're just circulating through the body. They come to the lungs, they pick up oxygen, and then they go deliver them to the tissues and come back to the lungs. The white cells are kind of like the army. They form an important part of our immune system. And then thirdly, the platelets. Platelets are little cells that help us clot. They're kind of like little ambulances. They get to where there's some kind of injury first and they patch up the problem so that your full body can form a big blood clot and stop the bleeding. These three cells, white, red, and platelets, are made in the factory of your blood, which is what we call the bone marrow. So the bone marrow is that stuff within our bones that makes these red cells and white cells and platelets and various other things. A small part of that bone marrow are a very specialized group of cells called plasma cells. These are good. We like plasma cells. Plasma cells make antibodies. Antibodies help us fight off infections. Plasma cells are the ones that make those antibodies. Unfortunately, multiple myeloma is a cancer of those plasma cells. So instead of making good antibodies that help us fight off infections and viruses and bacteria and things like that, now it makes bad antibodies or bad proteins. These are proteins or antibodies that instead of now helping us can actually hurt us. And that's why multiple myeloma in some ways is a double whammy because the very things that are meant to help you, those plasma cells and those antibodies, now turn on you and can attack your kidneys and attack your bones. Well, what are some of the numbers associated with multiple myeloma? Well, myeloma is actually not a very common cancer. It accounts for only about 2% of all cancers. However, it is significantly more common in the African-American population. In fact, it's twice as common in the African-American population and is the number one blood cancer in African-Americans. About 35,000 new cases are diagnosed every year. And there are some groups that are at high risk. As I've mentioned, African-Americans are at high risk. We see it a little bit more commonly in men than women. And the average age of diagnosis is somewhere between 65 and 70, although it is diagnosed at a younger age in African-Americans and indeed in Hispanic Americans. There is no one simple symptom or sign that someone has to know that they have multiple myeloma. And this is what can make the diagnosis difficult. About three quarters of patients have a low red blood cell count. A little over half of patients have some kind of pain and specifically bone pain very often in their back. And about a third of patients present with very significant fatigue. And these symptoms can be other conditions as well, of course. And so it's important in the right context to be able to make the diagnosis of myeloma by taking those symptoms and matching them with doing the specific blood tests we need for multiple myeloma because those tests are not routinely done on a simple physical exam. But we want to make the diagnosis earlier before the bad proteins can damage the body. The good news with multiple myeloma is that we have so many new treatments for this condition. We are seeking a cure of multiple myeloma. And even if we haven't achieved the cure yet, we have seen a dramatic improvement in survival over the last decade, doubling and even tripling the average time that patients can live with multiple myeloma. And we've been able to do this because of great new treatments, things like stem cell transplants, using your own immune system to fight myeloma, and indeed using treatments that are even just pills for patients. We can fight myeloma in ways that we never used to be able to. It's so important for you to know that you're not alone in this journey with multiple myeloma. There are so many who want to help you better understand this disease and fight this disease with you. At the International Myeloma Foundation, we have many resources available to you so that you and your family can fight through this together so that you can live a longer life and a better life with multiple myeloma.